So once you've filtered off the liquid from your solution, we're going to wash with some chilled methanol. So you're going to stop the suction by turning the stopcock valve and add 10 mils of your chilled methanol. Again, you'll let this stand for a few minutes before reapplying suction. After letting it stand, you can release the suction. We're going to continue to wash with methanol until the filtrate is clear. So you can check this by grabbing a white piece of paper and putting it behind your filter unit to see the color of the solution coming through. So right now it's still green. So we're going to need to wash with some more methanol. So again, we'll stop the suction and add a few mils of methanol. Let it stand for a few minutes. Then you can reapply the suction. Once the last few drops of your filtrate are clear, we can then move on to our third reaction. You want to do this quickly and you want to keep this moist the whole time. We're now going to transfer all of your product into a 125 ml flask. And we'll add 40 ml of ether. And with a pasture pipette, we're going to add 0.5 mils of glacial acetic acid. We're going to allow this to dissolve. And then using an ice bath, we're going to cool the temperature down to about 15 degrees Celsius. While you're doing that, we're going to weigh out two grams of zinc dust. You're going to you can add the zinc dust to the flask. Now we want to maintain the temperature between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. So we're going to keep it on our ice bath for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes on the ice bath, we can then remove it and leave it at room temperature for an additional 15 minutes. Then your TA will add 1 mil of a pyridine solution. This will allow precipitation of the white uh, zinc salt. remove this salt, we're then going to filter by gravity. So you're going to set up your funnel and filter paper and filter it. We'll then put this ether real solution into a separatory funnel and you're going to extract the product just as we did in the liquid liquid extraction lab. 
Then we're gonna recrystallize it, just as we did in lab one. Then you're gonna store in the cabinet for the week, and we're gonna move on to the next reaction in the following week. In the last week, you're gonna take eight mils of ethanol, and one gram of your product from last week, the 5 cholestin 3 ohm and you're going to weigh out 0.8 grams of anhydrous oxalic acid we're going to mix that together we're then going to dissolve this on the steam bath, set up in a separate hood you want to make sure that the level of ethanol stays the same. You can do this by adding a watch glass to the top or just adding ethanol as needed. You're then going to put this on the steam bath. You want to make sure that the level of ethanol stays the same. You can do this by adding a watch glass to the top or adding ethanol as necessary. Once it's completely dissolved, you're going to allow it to heat on the steam bath for an additional 10 minutes. Then we're going to remove it and let it cool at room temperature to allow recrystallization. This product can then be stored in the cabinets for the week and then you're going to do your IR on this.